Hey, fun fans, before we get to this video, I want to give a big shout out to all of you who have been spreading the word of fun to help us stay Lob Light Independent through your donations, bits, and subscriptions, and also to the sponsors of this segment, PTC. PTC currently has the Robots to the Rescue Challenge going on where you can earn a share of $7,000 for your team by designing a robot that helps solve a current world problem at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. We're going to do a little bit of tips for helping you win the Chairman's Award segment real quick to go through and go into a more of a discussion segment after we just bombarded you guys with a bunch of information. So what we have here is uh ryan uh was part of 1902 back when they did go through their amazing chairman's run and um he says that he's gone through and been able to devise some points as well as um we found some information ourselves while going through and doing some research so there's a lot of information out there to help you guys figure out but uh ryan uh what were some of those tips that you were telling us earlier about all right, so uh, first off, I think the thing I want to touch on before anything else, because it's something I even saw in the Chief Delphi thread a bit for a discussion leading up to the show, was the discussion about how a lot of people think chairmen's, especially first focus on narrowing things down to the first program, has turned the chairman's award into a race to found the most first teams. The first thing I want to tell, especially to anyone who is working on chairmans or wants to work on chairmans is while it might seem like one of the most prominent things out there in winning essays, it is most certainly not the only way to win the award. It's not even necessarily the way first wants you to approach it. I'm not saying there's a correct way, but it is not certainly the only way. Take 1902, for example, our winning chairman submission, we'd only founded 16s, four FLL, one FTC, one FRC cumulatively and it's not some cheat code you have to do where you race to found 50 teams we took a sustainability route keeping the teams that are already around around instead of letting them collapse after a couple of years but i just want to focus on that make that message clear you don't have to race to found first teams beyond that Again, there's not really any cheat sheets or cheat codes to chairmans, right? Definitely but not. Practice, interview practice. People tend to forget about the fact that you have that interview, but you also have the Q&A session afterwards where the judges have looked at your executive summaries, they've looked at your essay, and they have questions about how you got your numbers. They want to know more about your programs. They might ask you something completely out of left field, like, do you have a program that services girls in your community? You might not have talked about that at all, but they're going to ask you if you have it. And it's really important to have grilled your students as much as possible on every possible question under the planet. Make sure they are professionals on your team. Make sure they're professionals about your material. Because a lot of chairman's awards, especially at higher level regionals and at Worlds, are going to be one off your interview because a lot of essays start to blend together, a lot of numbers start to seem the same, and they're gonna remember the team that was confident in their info and the team that could back things up, the kids who knew what they were doing beyond a script. And that's one of the most important things you can do is own that interview, own that Q&A. Anyone who's affiliated with uh, 1902 can tell you, we grill those kids the entire regional and they are ready when they go in. Kind of so, oh, no, go ahead. One of the one of the things that uh, you should look into when you're when you're going to uh, prepare for chairmans is every year teams will put out. Uh, there's a couple teams that will put out on Chief Delphi and on their own websites as well as possibly even on um, various Discord servers. They'll put out a list of all of the chairmans questions they've compiled throughout the years um, in their chairmans interviews. They'll have students write down basically every question that they've ever gotten and use those questions to train the next year's presenters um, on what they might be asked in the event of, uh, or, or during their uh, chairman's presentation, which I think is a super useful resource to have seen all of those questions and to be able to go through that list, ask everybody 
that is going to be presenting every one of those questions ahead of time so that they are able to answer pretty much any question that gets thrown at them. Yep, where one of the best resources I have found when going and compiling through all the chairman documentation is a presentation, which Tyler has shown here and there from 971 by Megan. And he's showing, re-showing it on the screen. Yeah. 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 What 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 about this presentation that you found here, uh, Treebor? What what were some big highlight points that you found inside of there? It was kind of the way she outlined it with the three parts, as everything as in the first comes back to number three, three part submission. You have a beginning, middle, and end, and a th the three questions with the story that they tell. They real she really emphasize they really emphasize on telling your story and making sure you follow through with it as most of the chairman's winners i have found have like grouped together all their outreach and was able to portray a story hmm. all right all right i okay i see i see what you're saying now i i see what you're putting down <laughs> um all right so um uh, Ryan, were were there any other tips that you wanted to add inside of there? I would say if there's one other thing to really add on that's kind of general, a lot of people say read the winning team's essays, right? You know, a team will say, I'm not quite sure what to do to get into chairmans. Most people will say, read the Hall of Fame team essays, see what they did. And that is good advice, but I think it's started another type of problem and like misconception which is every single first team has a different set of circumstances opportunities and connections no two teams are identical unless you're sister teams i suppose and as a result while you're looking at other teams it's good to see what they did but you're not supposed to copy them right you're not supposed to look at necessarily a hall of fame team and say well, geez, my team can't start 100 teams in another country, so we're doomed. It's good to get a read on how things are done, but at the end of the day, you need to find your team's niche, what you're good at. Um, again, to use 1902 submission as an example, we knew we didn't want to start tons of first teams. We knew we couldn't start a lot of first teams, but we knew we could help teams stick around and be sustained. And there was a little bit of discussion in the team about, well, can you just talk about sustainability and nothing else instead of starting teams? And we said, we can do that good, and we're going to do good rather than trying to win the award. And that's the route Bacon took. And a handful of years later, it turned out it's a working strategy. We did a lot of good, and it did win the award. So try to find your team's unique move is probably my best advice. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anybody can pitch in. We do have a question from the chat. They asked um, if the the presentation said that video is used as a tiebreaker, um, and they were saying that they didn't think it was used at all except for displaying on the screen after decisions had been made. Uh, do any of you have something to pitch in on, on how the video is used or how at least you believe the video is used in yes. considerations? Yeah. It, it is not a tiebreaker. The only thing the video is there for is to portray after you win the award. The first kind of checks it over just to make sure it looks fine. But it's no, it's not an indicator in any way yeah. used in what team should win. There is actually, um, I want to add on to that. There is some conflicting information. I don't actually know if it's in the most recent descriptions or not. But I have spoken with judges, and it was at least official in first documentation a year or two ago that chairman's award videos could be used in the event where two teams are perfectly tied and the judges have no idea how to decide. Like, if they reach that point where they're thinking, like, do we just throw a dart at the wall because they're so perfectly aligned, right. they will look at your chairman's award video and tie break you from that. Right. So the summary of what everybody just said is uh, like there's there it there is 
conflicting information on that. Um, however, uh, it, it's probably unlikely that the, the chairman's award submissions are that close that it would get to that point. I'm sure uh, a, lo a lot of these chairman's decisions are, are, are cut close, but uh, there's always a defining factor. And for it to get to uh, your video, uh, you probably don't have to worry about that. Uh, just make your chairman's presentation as good as it can be and make your, your essay and your um, executive summary really, really spot on. Uh, and that's probably your best shot there. Yeah, one of the best things you can kind of do in this time is look at the executive summary questions, look at the essay, and just like write out a quick draft. Bullet point points, um, what you, how you think you can betray your story. And just think, okay, I know this is going to sound bad, but let me just throw a draft out there. Come back to it like a month later, and then edit, flow it through. One of the best things I've found for a team where my alum team has submitted a few times is to get it done before kickoff. At least have a draft, full-on draft of the essay, so that way you're not dealing with build season and drafting the essay with executive summary, preparing for the presentation. It's the best way to try and relieve stress on your chairman's presenters and essay writers. Um, one thing that I'd also like to throw into there, uh, people, we are a family here in FIRST. We are a community from what I've seen. If you go through and you ask, hey, do you mind going through and help me? Like if you have writer's block and you don't mind showing something that you're trying to get through an idea, people will help you. We're not here to steal each other's ideas. This isn't, this, we're, we're having a nice friendly competition here. People will help you get along and they will help you get, work through that writer's block. You're not gonna be alone in this. Um, like I've, I've, I've helped multiple teams with their essays. 1902 I've seen has helped with others' essays as well as 179. I even had some kids help with other teams' essays throughout here in Florida. So, like, we, we're we not here to go through and start poaching people's ideas. We're here to help each other in the long run because what matters at the end of the day is the sustainability of our organization and how we are as a family overall. Um, do we have any... So I've got any other comments? one last comment from the chat before we move uh, into a quick message from Tyler. Uh, and that, that comment was um, that this team was awarded a uh, judge's award. And one of the comments from the judge's award was that um, they mentioned something that was in their presentation, their chairman's presentation, or their video, rather, their chairman's video. Um, so there are a lot of factors that go into judge's award. Uh, and it can pretty much come from any aspect of your team. Um, it chairman's, I wouldn't say is your chairman's presentation and your chairman's video. I, I definitely wouldn't say to shoot for uh, judges award with uh, your chairman's video. It, 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 there's so many different things that can go into a judges award. And I'm sure that um, trying to aim for that specifically is probably not your best route. Um, bettering your team as a whole will make you more likely to win judges award as well as every other award. Uh, so I wouldn't focus on that. This video is brought to you in part by PTC. Look, during this time, it's important to look for challenges to keep your skills up and to help your team in fun development. The Robots to the Rescue Challenge can help you accomplish both by designing a robot that solves a real world problem with a chance to win a share of over $7,000 for your team. Click the link in the description to get started at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.